Sorry about that. Oh, video reached the maximum time, so we're going to go on with a second one here. So, uh, or maybe this is the first one, yeah, who knows. This might be two-part, I'm not sure, but I'm going to keep going on recording. So, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, I, I'm wiring up separate switches for the photons. The rear and the front one will uh, work independent of one another instead of both being on all the time. Um, I did the same with the strobes, a separate switch. The uh, ship lights are going to be a separate switch. And uh, the... Uh, um, the engines and the uh, grill up here, those are going to be a separate switch. And you notice the grill I got her pretty nicely uh, diffused big time. Um, there's many different ways you can diffuse it. I did. Uh, I was going to use my uh, spray on um, window uh, frosting spray. To, uh, uh, it's made by Rust-Oleum, either Rust-Oleum or Krylon, one or the other, but it works well. That's what I used on my big deflector on the refit. And when it's turned off, you get that real nice... Uh, whitish color to it you know like you see in the movie sequence and stuff but um instead i went with just um i went with some uh uh if you guys know what um oh hell uh it's not steel wool scotch bright i used uh kind of like a medium a little bit coarser than medium scotch bright on there um and went over it quite a few times inside and out until i got the desired desired effect um, in person, it's a real deep red, kind of in the dimmer side. I got two, also used two, they're red colored. The the plastic, the, the, the LEDs are actually red in color, and they're diffused LEDs. They're not clear, they're not bright clear ones. Um, so I used red, red diffused LEDs to even give it more diffusion. And then what I did after that, I gave it a couple of coats on the inside and outside of um, Tester's uh, flat doll coat. So, um... And once I get done painting it, I already painted the grill work, so that's going to get masked off so I don't get nothing messed up on there. Once I get done with painting the rest of the model and I go over the whole thing with flat again, it'll get an extra coat, so it, uh, it'll even look uh, a lot a lot more diffused. Um, you barely can make out the two hot spots in there now. You see one on the left and one on the right. In person, you barely see them. In person, it's a nice deep red almost the color of what you're seeing the reflection down on the top of the hall so um it's uh it turned out real nice and stuff now if you use the clear red pieces which you see a couple guys do like i mentioned hp uh guys workshop he just put together pretty much box stock um it it looks toyish because you see the two leds in there and it doesn't really light up the plastic it's just two red leds in there if you turn it certain ways you can see the black uh uh, parts in there that uh, make up the housing and stuff for this and all that so um, This is another reason why I wanted to do my own lighting and stuff because uh, it, This it looks more realistic this way And I know a lot of other guys are wanting to do this and another guy that did a similar He used a little different uh, technique that he he likes to use it was um, Brad Hare he did a real super job in fact he's getting ready to start painting on his too so we're both working about the same speed and um, pretty much coming up with the same issues and this and that and he he didn't go to photo that trout either so you know like I says I'm not just making stuff up there the more I, the more I talk about this kit with the different issues I've been finding the more and more I'm hearing people not using the photo photo etch or not using the kit lighting but this is what you get um, by no means was I trying to sway people not to buy this model or scaring people out of buying it if you want to build it buy it it's a nice model the size it's awesome it's two feet by about 18 inches um real nice looking model super detailed if you guys built the refit or even if you didn't then you just like the clean on ships um it's it's an excellent you know it's an excellent model with all the detail all the little greebles that they picked up in the molds um it's probably one of the better kits yet um other than the issues for that reason I'm not going to refer to it as one of their better kits, but um, um, it's 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 good size. It uh, it's going to make for all oh, the underside. I forgot. There's a couple plug lights underneath. They shine toward the back. I'm not going to get directly there so you don't get blinded or nothing. Oh, I just uh, bumped my wires together. That's all. But um, 
it, it, it takes a little plane around. There are holes in there that, that they uh, set in, kind of like the floods on the uh, refit. But um, it takes a little plane around, get one in there. And um, you want that little pattern, like, you know, like a little little V, like fan and out pattern. Once you get one in there, then I worked on the other side to kind of get the same pattern on both sides. And um, it turned out pretty good. I got one in there, then the other one looked a little better. So I kind of, I just put a little dab of um, um, hot glue in there. I use my cool shot so I don't melt the plastic because the regular... Uh, the regular temperature glue gun it will affect the plastic if you uh, get too heated up but um, I played around with them till I got them both about the same and they turned out real nice looking so all in all that's the Katinga